Let's get out and explore. What do you want to do? All right, that settles it. Fascinating. Listen up. What do you want to do? Make sure your clothes up. Can I talk? Please head to the exam room.
All right. Hello? Huh? Take care. Come on. Thank you very much. Wanna head back? You ride this train at this time too. <laughs> what a coincidence. We finished investigating the palace. All that's left is the calling card. When are you going to send it? That's the spirit. I want to stop that man as soon as possible. Let's get together after school then. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, have you heard?
We can now take him down, yes? Matarame is going to be a changed man. There won't be any way to revert it, though. Are you sure you're okay with that? I have thought it over carefully. And I cannot think of a future in which he does not pay his dues. He has preyed not only on the art world, but on countless talents. So, I humbly request your help. I apologize for making you do this. Not at all. We just didn't want to impose if you weren't feeling up to it, Yusuke. But if you're already determined to do it, then there's nothing more for us to say. If I recall, our next step is sending a calling card, correct? <laughs> what a suave maneuver. It's not about acting cool. The calling card is a way to trigger a change in his cognition. A change in cognition? Uh, that reminds me, you went through some trouble regarding that before. Ah, you must be talking about when we forced open that security gate in the courtyard. The palace is a cognitive world, so changing its ruler's cognition changes the topography, I think. Very nicely put, Lady An. You're absolutely correct. This will be a vital tactic from here forward. Actually, may I ask a truly basic question? You continue to mention cognition quite readily, but... Why does this world formed from materialized cognitions even exist to begin with? Don't tell me. Has it always existed while we go about our daily lives, completely oblivious? Honestly, I'm not sure. At the very least, I know it existed before the Kamoshida incident. But that's all. I see. Crap, he totally caught me off guard with that. It's kind of weird thinking there might be whole worlds we just don't know a damn thing about. Did the thought ever cross your mind? Don't be so anxious. You don't even know everything about the city you live in, after all. All that's important is that we know how to make use of that world and how to traverse it. Then it's decided. Let's prepare the calling card at once. A calling card, huh? Will he take it seriously? He is famous after all. He has often received slanderous letters till now as well. He'll know best whether the crime written on it is for real or not. Wait, are you going to write it again, Ryuji? That last one was questionable at best. You should do it then, Yusuke. Oh, make it really artistic and stuff! No, it'll end with him figuring it out. He knows my drawing and writing styles all too well. Oh, then I'll think it up and you make it cooler. Designing a calling card. Hmm. Interesting. It shall become proof that the Phantom Thieves do exist. It's decided then. Great. All that's left is to make the treasure ours. You guys better come fully prepared.
Let me explain. Let's begin. Okay, quiet down. Pardon me, sir. There's a matter we need to notify you about. Please excuse me for a moment. What is it? We found this outside. A letter? It's, uh... Mm, uh. Serichiriusai Matarame, a great sinner of vanity whose talent has been exhausted. You are an artist who uses his authority to shamelessly steal the ideas of his pupils. We have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. We will take your distorted desires without fail from the Phantom Thieves. Who's doing is this? We don't know. The same letter has been posted everywhere. What about the security cameras? There were no signs of the culprit. All we saw was a cat in the recordings. Remove these at once! Of course. Hmm. Um... <sighs> what now? It's about this affecting the exhibit. We believe it's just a prank, but what of the mass media? Are you insinuating that this slander is true? Of course not! It's those damn brats doing, isn't it? Well, it means nothing. They'll only be able to do as they please until this exhibit is over. Will that do? Yup, it was perfect. The composition was way cooler too. The treasure should appear right about now. You better enjoy the air of freedom while you still can, old man. Anyways, did you guys check online? People are already talking about that calling card. We'll show them. We're gonna surprise them all. I'm sure you know, but we only get one shot to pull this off. It'll be fine. We managed last time, too. You have no reservations about this either, right, Yusuke? Of course not. We'll do this.
Inside, just as expected. I mean, we've done a ton in here. It ain't surprising. Anyway, I'm gonna try and draw it out, so I'll leave the switch to you guys. Will you be okay? What if it catches up to you?
woman never lost her passion for painting even after her husband died. Her skills and talents were quite astonishing. That's why I decided to look after her. Your mother and the artwork she created, they're all my works of art. How low can you sink? I suppose I can grant you a gift before you die. A glimpse of the genuine Sayuri. Genuine? That's the real Sayuri? This can't be. Mob. Huh? Indeed it is. This was painted by your mother. It's a portrait of herself. A woman who knew her death was coming painted her last wishes for the son she would leave behind. That is the truth behind the mystery of Sayuri's expression. You stole something that personal? I knew at first glance. I knew it'd be a huge success if I added a touch to the painting and announced it under my name. But the baby in the picture... Why did you paint over it? It was all to stage it. If the babe is erased, the reason for the woman's expression will become a mystery. That is what the general public is drawn to. Each of those parasitic critics wrote the same thing. I always felt something was off about all this. Now I know what it is. If you really treasured that painting, you wouldn't even think about replicating it for profit. You don't love art at all! Though you have a real treasure, your true skills are nothing more than those scribbles on that fake. It makes me laugh, asshole! So you'll defy me no matter what? Well then, since you're my work of art, Yusuke, I'm going to reap you for the sake of my future. Along with those insolent friends of yours there. I can't believe you're treating both mother and son like they're objects. You're inhuman! Fox? I've heard that you destroy your art once they outlive their usefulness. Did that include my mother as well? She just so happened to have a seizure in front of me. That's when a thought crossed my mind. If I don't call for help and leave her be, I could obtain her painting without any strings attached. No. You let her die? She was physically weak. No one would doubt if she just dropped dead because of a seizure. Above all, Yusuke, didn't you think it was odd that I discovered your talent when you were only three? The reason why I kept you around was to keep you from realizing the truth behind Sayuri! You killed her. The artistic talents you inherited from your mother were a delightful miscalculation, though. If I'm to steal ideas, it's much easier robbing the future of brats who won't talk back than adults. It's thanks to you that I came up with the idea. You have my gratitude. <laughs> Yusuke? I thank you, Madarame. Every reason for me to forgive you has disappeared without a trace at this very moment. You aren't some rotten artist. You're a despicable fiend who wears the skin of an artist. All you good-for-nothings barging into my museum and doing whatever the hell you want. Those who have the connections make the rules. Those who don't, follow them. Not to mention, the value of art is all subjective. I make the rules of the art scene. I am the supreme being. I am the god of the art world. This isn't good. Get back. <laughs> Stand. 
Now, let's begin, you vermin. You use others for your own despicable desires, Madarame. You aren't even worth the art you create! Joker, don't lose focus. Zona! There's no telling what he'll try! Generated? Damn it. Those things can come back if we don't take them down at once. What the persona? Get wrecked! <laughs> Our color changing. We should be cautious. Let's go. There. Stupid brass. What the persona? Bam. Persona. Thank you. Let's go. I am thou. Using it. Much thanks.
ink coating attack is a real hassle. What's the plan? <gasps> Isn't that the same thing Matarame's been using? Let's try covering him with paint. Persona! to go. Leave it to me. You're covered it's in tough. paint. I don't like the look of this. To defy! Enough of your egotistic ranting. Taste the wrath of all those you've preyed upon. <laughs> I'm the great artist, Madarame. If you brats can't fathom that, then you'll witness it for yourselves. Behold, my mastercraft! Panther! 
Waste your breath. How could I? Let's go. Go him on. Ah, nice one, Fox. Contact. Not sure. over yet. Persona. Ravage them. Damn brass. Unbelievable. You dare to fight? Anger me! You 
think we'll be daunted by such threats? Take this! You've angered me! Cry your you help! Me? Are you Take right? this! I won't forgive you! Damn brass! Kill you! Someone treat her! I won't forgive you! Kill. No one cares for true art. All they want are easily recognizable brands. I'm a victim of this too. Wouldn't you agree? Excuses now? The art world revolves around money after all. You can't rise up without any money. Yusuke, you understand, don't you? Being a poor artist is truly miserable. I just didn't want to return to that life. A fiend like you has no right to speak about the world of art. You're done for. Along with this whole wretched world. <sighs> no, please! Just don't kill me! <sighs> Return to yourself in reality and confess your crimes. All of them. You're not going to kill me? Swear it! <laughs> All right! All right! What about the other one, though? The one with the black mask? Hmm? Huh? A black mask? Wait, who's he talking about? It can't be. There was another intruder besides us within this palace? There's no time! Hurry! Get on! Hey, Yusuke! What should I do? Put an end to all of this and use your own artwork for once. Yusuke! No, wait, please! Yusuke! Yusuke! The destination has been deleted. It would be bad if people started getting suspicious of us. We should leave at once. Yusuke, come on! 
Right. Goodbye, Sensei. I guess the mission was a success. All that's left is to see if he had a change of heart or not. Ah, so bitter! Why'd you get it black? The Sayuri. You're not gonna get all teary-eyed and say stuff like, Mom, are ya? To think that this painting was the source of Madarame's distorted desires. The only saving grace is that my mother won't know of what transpired. The genuine painting at his atelier has been altered after all. Ironic as it may be, this one here is her true self-portrait now. It's a wonderful painting, and although it took some time, it's in your hands now, Yusuke. I'm thankful for it. However, it's impossible for this painting to be acknowledged by society anymore. No. I doubt it's the name of any woman in particular. I bet it was to make it more mysterious. Just a part of Madarame's foolish staging. Well, it would have been obvious that he plagiarized it if he had used the real name. So, this is my mother. There's no way that I would remember her face clearly, but I was right about the rush of emotion I felt when I saw this painting. Stop that! You're so vulgar, Ryuji. So, what are you gonna do now? We're gonna keep targeting big shots. Why do you do such things? It's to get back at scumbags and, like, society in general. I also want to give courage to the people that are suffering because of selfish adults. Courage, huh? What good does that do? You mean the courage to stand up for themselves, correct? Will acquiring that make them happy? Yeah. There's no knowing whether it'll turn out good for everyone or not. Still, we won't know unless we give it a try. In other words, it all depends on the person, hmm? And the same can be said about myself right now. I also suffered because of an adult selfish act. Moreover, if we investigate these palaces, it may expand my artistic repertoire. You really only think about art, huh? You're impressive. Well, I won't take part in any inelegant plans, all right? No worries, I've got us covered. Plus, we have a rule that says we always have to decide on a target unanimously. How about it, Joker? We can give our calling cards a lot more oomph if we have Yusuke on our team. I will try and live up to those expectations. At any rate, I'm curious. Another intruder besides us, huh? Our only clue is the black mask, so that doesn't necessarily mean it's just one person, right? But there's no way to check anymore. The palace is gone. I'll try probing Madarame. I may be able to learn something from him. Are you sure? I mean... I'll contact you all if anything turns up. We should probably exchange our contact info with you then. An artist and a phantom thief. Well, it seems I'll be engaging in two trades from here on. Very well. You only live once, after all. Still, the incident about this other intruder does concern me a little. Not only have we dealt with our second big target, we even have a new addition to the team. Goodness, things are going so well. If only I could make a certain stupid Ryuji learn from you. But I have to say, you sure are something special. This is our fifth Persona user. It'll help broaden our battle strategies as well. Besides, having an eye for beauty is a must for Phantom Thieves. We're lucky to have Yusuke. An artist is a talent you rarely come across. I mean, he is a bit strange, but still. An artist, huh? What kind of person do you think I was? 
There's no way I'd turn out to be some bad guy in the end, right? I get so engrossed with the embodiment of human desires. And that's not all. When it comes to the metaverse, I'm the only one who can transform into a car. I'm special, but it's still odd. Who could I actually be? You really think so? <sighs> what a half-assed answer. Well, there's no way a dashing, honorable rogue like me could be evil. A man who saves those in trouble in the West, while punishing evildoers who may lurk in the East. A man who chastises people that smoke inside in the South, while saving bullied cats in the North. A man who has a sturdy body, and vows to always do one good deed a day, be it rain or shine. I'm that kind of ideal person. Or so I hope. So if I turn back to being human, surely she'll take notice of me, won't she? Right! Of course that's the case. <sighs> where should I go when I become human? I wonder where she'd like to go. An amusement park. A movie theater. A fancy cafe. Shopping. What do you think? <laughs>